y'all. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Yes, it is Wednesday and I have not opened this vlog yet. Y'all, it has been a whirlwind of a few couple of days. So fully intended to bring y'all along with me on Saturday. Riley and I just had plans to do like a girl's day, but then those changed as well. So we did go thrifting. I filmed a short little segment of me trying on some clothes. get very many things I got everything that I tried on no I didn't get everything I tried on because some of the things didn't actually fit but everything that you saw there plus I think a black blazer I don't think I filmed that but um, everything else I got and this is one of the shirts that I'm wearing today um, I actually wore it to school yesterday too but we'll get to that part of the story in a second um, and then I don't know what happened Sunday I don't think we did anything on Sunday. I tried to do schoolwork both Saturday and Sunday. Didn't get very far at all. Um, Monday rolled around and Riley had her first softball game. So I filmed a short little clip of that. <laughs> Um, unfortunately they did not win but it was felt really good to be watching them again we have definitely missed softball for sure um, and then we got home from the game and picked Aiden up he went to my parents house um, they picked him up from practice and he started throwing up and he was sick all Monday night which um, my brain was like done by the end of Monday um, some things happened or whatever but um, I was like, Scotty, I'm going to bed. And it was like 930. And then at like 1130, it was before midnight, he like plops in bed and I'm like, oh my gosh, is everything okay? He's like, Aiden's throwing up. I'm like, oh my goodness. I missed all of this because I was already asleep. Um, anyhow, he stayed home from school Tuesday, mid morning Tuesday, Riley texts me and was like, I don't feel good. I'm like, okay, you want me to have your dad to come get you? And she's like, no, I'm going to stick it out. Well, at noon, she's like, can you please take me home? So I took her home, came back to work, um, finished out the day. She was sick all night last night. Aiden was feeling, he wasn't feeling better. Like he had stopped throwing up, but his body hurt. He wasn't feeling good. And so today I went ahead and stayed home with them just to like be here if they needed anything, you know, a drink, food, a new wash rag for their head, you know, whatever. And they didn't need me very much today, but I just wanted to be here just in case. I've done some laundry, tried to get some school done. That didn't work. I feel like every time I sat down for school, they actually did need something from me, but that's okay. I'm only, you know, just a couple weeks behind, <laughs> which I know I'm not actually behind. I'm still really far ahead, but for my schedule, I'm behind and it's making me crazy, but it is what it is and I'll get caught up eventually. So anyhow, so now here it is late Wednesday. We've got about less than an hour oh yeah scotty that kid does need a ride to church now <sighs> yeah i know we, there's it's gone back and forth and that's fine um he only lives a few minutes from us so it doesn't change too much we leave five minutes earlier or whatever but anyway so we're well maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes out now from needing to leave for church and i just did a grocery haul and i had to move my tiered tray off of the table and all the stuff and I'm like, I'm finally going to do this because it has been making me crazy. I've had this stuff to do it for since before Valentine's Day. I never did my Valentine's Day one. The Super Bowl one is still up and I want to just get my Easter one put up. And I'm like, I have zero content for this vlog. I'm going to do my tiered tray today. So um, that's what I'm going to do really quick because it's really literally going to take me five minutes or less. Um, and then I'm going to review my lesson for tonight and then we'll leave for church. But I don't think the kids are going to go to church at the moment. Um, Riley still has a 99.2 fever, which our norm is 97.9. So that 
you know, is a little bit higher of a, of a temp than most people at 99. Um, I think Aiden, yeah, Aiden's was down to 98 earlier. He is feeling better, but of course he's several hours ahead of Riley on, you know, he got sick Monday night. She got sick 12 ish hours later, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, so I think they're both going to stay home cause they don't feel good, but yeah, it's going to be a weird night, I think, too, because there's a track meet tonight. So I know several of our kids aren't going to be at church. But OK, so let's put together my tiered tray. I'm going to show you what it was and I'll show you the things that I have for it. And we'll see what we can put together and how we can make it look. OK, um, it's dilapidated now. It's like fallen apart because <laughs> it's just been sitting on the table forever and keeps getting moved out of the way. But um, it was super cute. Uh, there's a vlog somewhere about it. Um, but it was set up for the Super Bowl. So now I'm going to take all this stuff off of it. Do that really quick. Okay, so everything is off of it now. All that stuff, pretty much all of it goes back in Aiden's room. I'm gonna save all my ribbons for um, hopefully next year. They're back in the Super Bowl and we can do it again. Um, I guess I'll move this out of the way real quick. So I have these little like um, ceramic, I don't, they're not ceramic, they're like stone um, eggs. So I got all most of this stuff from the associate store. Um, my daughter took me to uh, for where she works. Um, and then this little guy, which I had some pumpkins like this, but I got them from the Dollar Tree, and this one is from there. Uh, he does light up, but I did just notice he is chipped right there. He's like got a little hairline fracture, but he be okay. And then I got this really pretty rainbow with flowers. I'm going to put the heart dish on there that I got. I actually thrifted this, um, but this still has some kisses in it, so I'm going to put the candy back in there. And then I got this little pack of just little signs, which honestly, I don't know if they're really going to fit very well or not. And then I got some greenery from the Dollar Tree. And I got this little sign at Dollar General the other day, but I actually intended to put it down at the Airbnb. So um, it's been sitting on the tier tray with the, um, but it says, welcome to our happy place. Um, and that is what we call the lake and cabin, our happy place. So I need to put that down there, I think. So anyhow, in here is a little bead thing. It's supposed to look like a carrot, I think. And, oh, I'm missing something. There's a cross somewhere. I think it's up with my Valentine stuff. And then a little Cottontail Farm carrot patch. Put them up here so you can see it. Bless this nest. Oh, that's actually a magnet. I had no idea. A little fabric rabbit. Sorry, the dogs are milling around now. And then Happy Easter, which that's definitely more my speed. Um, not as much the Easter or the, the bunny stuff. I definitely prefer more around Christ because that's, you know, what it actually is about. And then this sign I bought at the same place, but I'm going to take it to the church. I'm, we decorated the church a few weeks ago, but um, I forgot to take this up there. Here's a little cross, and then I just saw my... Um, little twinkle lights. So I'm going to put those on here too. Okay. So I grabbed my fairy lights. So I really need, I got stuff on the table over here. So I need to push it out of the way so I can push that out of the way. Okay. So let's just get started. I, I wasn't going to time lapse it, but I think I'm going to time lapse it because I have nothing else to say. So let's go. Uh, it didn't turn out exactly as I planned. Um, they wouldn't stand up in that candy dish. So I just like leaned them up against each other and uh, well, golly. And then use the eggs, which is kind of cute. It's kind of like, you know, hidden Easter eggs, I guess. Um, and then the little carrot thing here, kind of cute. I just threw the candy around. And then down here I have that and that. And that it's a little more of the bunny stuff down here and this guy I don't even know what to do with him lay him sideways he's definitely too tall and he doesn't go anywhere else and then of course my little hidden dinosaur he is always in there 
Um, this guy needs to go up top, uh, but he doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, maybe just here beside the rainbow. Kind of hides that other egg, but oh well. I'd rather have the cross up here. Oh well, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Okay, then we're just gonna throw him in here. I don't know. Kind of like this, I guess. The dinosaur just stays on there. Okay, it's, I don't love it, but it is what it is. And my fairy lights are dead, so I didn't put them on there. So that's it. There's my tiered tray for Easter. Now I need to clean off the table, basically take all that stuff back to Aiden's room. <laughs> that's it. Okay, now I need to go get ready for church. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Uh, this has been the weirdest vlogging week ever, sorry. Um, but I am down at the cabin because we had like, I don't know, six inches of rain last night. Um, and it's like six o'clock in the evening. We just got home from kids practice and all that and picking up Brooklyn. She's in there somewhere. Um, but I wanted to come down here and look cause it's major flooded. So I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if I've shown you flooding before. I was trying to remember if I had shown y'all last spring or not. Um, but whether I have or haven't, I know there's a lot of new subscribers. So I figured I would show you now and it's really high. So it's a good time to show you. So first of all, I'll show you from up here just so I can give you kind of the panoramic view. There's a lot of water, but then we'll go down and uh, actually look over the spillway over there. Okay, so this picnic table is usually, you can kind of see the dark edge right there of, the of where the um, ground usually is. So yeah, that's really high there. And also over here, there are pipes. They are completely underwater. So let's see. Yeah, you can see the outline right there. It's like a concrete slab and there's a whirlpool right there. <laughs> so there's three big pipes. No, don't throw a stick in there. Throw a leaf or something. Okay. You missed. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay, and then it was definitely much higher than that earlier. I could see in the camera, but it's still pretty high. It's definitely over. It's a couple of inches over the dock here. Let's see. Yeah, so if I walk a little further, it's over my feet. So that's pretty high. I'm not going to go all the way out there, obviously. Oh. So the paddle boat back there has been stuck for a while. Um, so it has dislodged a little bit. And then this over here, if you have been watching a while, you'll know last summer we tried to fix this a little bit. And this is why. Because the spring floods are no joke. So it's coming behind here a little bit. So we were trying to prevent so we still got some patching to do but we put all that and it's holding good that would stink to get sucked up in there yeah Okay, now I'm down at the bottom. This is where those pipes are letting out. And it is normally multiple feet shallower there. And then we've got the spillways coming in from over there. You can see the spillway. And then this pond is has breached. We lost the paddle boat. It must have gone over the spillway and taken a ride for the second time this year. And I definitely can't even cross this. This is a couple feet deep here. So I'm not even gonna try. But we'll go up there and look down on the rest of the water. Yeah. 
That tells me nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now from back up on the uh, porch, this is actually a really cool view because you can really see the spillway over there. Major waterfall. <laughs> but then it's not supposed to go here. It has created this wash over the last couple of years. That's the natural spring over there. And we'll keep walking on back. Ah, ranch and picnic table. And then the two springs, well, the overflow which again shouldn't be there so we're hoping to relieve this issue here water can't come out fast enough so we're hoping to make a spillway in this pond that will hopefully release the water faster and then we can uh, avoid this happening it's really washing away pretty badly and then all the way back down and around um, joining with the natural creek and then on and off the property and then that is it So that's it. That's what we get to deal with now. I mean, I say deal with, it's not causing problems, but it kind of is. Um, because water is powerful. <laughs> like, it's so powerful and it's so insane, you know. Um, but it's eroding up there at the spillway and it's definitely eroding this down here um, where it should not be. So we've got to get it fixed. It's just eating away this land down here. So, ah, water just dripped on you. Um, but yeah, we, we've got to get something done with that. We wanted to work on it, but we kind of decided to wait till after spring because say we just build it and then we get this massive flood before it has time to like become established and hardened and whatnot. Um, I don't want it to wash away. So man, I want to go walk the trail. You want to walk the trail and look at the waterfall? <laughs> I, think, I think that's a no. Goodbye white shoes. I mean they're not, both of your toes have holes in them. Yeah because they got stepped on my metal cleats. They got oh, metal cleats against a shoe. We, no, we, uh, I want to but we won't even be able to cross. We won't even be able to cross. Yeah, that's the moss. Oh, I'll show you that. Okay, so looking straight across the lake, look at that bright green strip there. That is, we call it God's carpet. It's like a really plushy moss. It's really cool. Okay, so I really do want to go over to the waterfall, but we can't get across anyhow or anyway. Because we can't cross the spillway. And then there's a creek crossing at this first and second cove before we could even get there. Mm, so we can't even. Like Let's it's, try it. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, well we can at least go to the first. It'll be really pretty at the first crossing. Okay, we're gonna go. Me and Aiden are gonna go. The girls are cold and they're in the car, but I'm up for it. I'm gonna ask if they wanna go, but I'm sure they'll be like, no, it's too cold. Okay, the girls did not wanna come, but not because it was cold, because they had white shoes on. Uh, but we made it just fine. Aiden's shoes didn't even get dirty. So, I can we, make it across. No, we can't cross. Oh, we could maybe cross right there. Oh my goodness. I can cross right you there almost too. fell in. No, you're not. Why not? He's thinking he's going to climb that. Okay. Anyway, I want to show you this. This first crossing is so pretty. You can see all the way up to the cave. Okay. This is what we're talking about crossing. That's the trail way over there. So we have a lot to cross. But look all the way up here. Oh, Aiden got in the way. But. Let me get over there. Okay, so all the way up, 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 
up to the cave. That's so cool. That's super cool. Are you gonna try and cross there? I wouldn't cross there. Oh, you're gonna fall in, dude. <laughs> right here. All right, try that. I'll film you. <laughs> the thing is, I ain't gonna get back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna try to cross right here. But even if I cross this one, I doubt I can cross the next one. So let's try not to fall in. Oh no, that's gushy. Oh no, oh no. I'm just on like a little rock bar. Huh. Okay, Aiden can't cross that. You'll sink. I sunk. Aiden, you cannot. Okay, he's gonna try and cross this tree. For the sake of adventure, here we come. I really don't think this is a good idea. Why not? Do you, think it'll break? you do whatever, dude. If you get, if you fall in, you just get wet. You're not gonna get hurt. What about my phone? <laughs> Leave it. What'd you say? <laughs> if he falls in, he's taking a shower when we get home. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's kind of possible. We'll see. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> the branch broke. Oh, I don't think that's connected. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. You did it! You got a long way to go. I think I might just have to shimmy for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's just wet. Huh? It's on soft wet. Okay, well, come on. Just balance. Just stand up and balance. I've heard a lot more of a fall that way. Oh, true. Okay, but we are not going to be able to cross that over there. Ain't no way. So too. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so there's water all the way over here. <laughs> we might cross that tree over there, so we're going to go check it out. We can cross it. Okay, so you can see it coming out of that cave way up there. Oh, zoomed one too many. That's so cool. I want to go all the way up there too, but the girls are probably ready to go. So, we got to figure out where we can cross here. It's pretty wide. Okay, I think our adventure has come to an end. We can't figure out how to cross here. So, I don't know, in a day or two... Oh, sorry, I wasn't even showing you me. Uh, in a day or two, maybe we'll come back down. Maybe tomorrow it will have receded enough if it doesn't rain anymore. And we can get to the waterfall. I just want to see it while it's like fully flowing. So. What? Calm down, Jamal. Go up there. Um, there's like green stuff popping up everywhere and that's really exciting because that means spring has sprung. Oh, what are those? See all these little green things popping up through here. I don't know what they are. I think they're maybe may apples or something. But they're all over the place and that's exciting. Hey y'all, we have come to the end of our night. It is 10.35. Um, I'm editing this video. Realized I didn't close it. 
Um, it's actually a pretty fun video. <laughs> I thought I had zero content for this vlog. Um, ended up being almost 30 minutes. So that's really cool. Um, but I just love the lake and everything, even when it's flooding. And I don't know, just every season is so good down there. It's like beautiful all seasons. Um, so anyway, it was a fun little adventure vlog to bring you guys along on. So I hope you did enjoy that. Um, I had full intention of going to bed at 9.30. Like, we finished dinner. Like, we I made hamburgers. And I had to do dishes before I could cook. You know how that goes. Um, so it was like 9 o'clock when we finally got to eat. And so we got done eating. And Riley's like, I'm going to bed. I'm like, I'm going to bed. And then I literally, like, moments later was like, I gotta edit my vlog. <laughs> so I've been in here since, like, 9.30-ish. Um, took me, like, 15 minutes to move my footage over. And only 45 minutes to um, edit this. But Scotty called. He's um, he's in Nebraska turkey hunting. So he called. So we talked for pretty much the time it took. Oh, so sorry. The time it took my footage to move over, but I'm so ready for bed. And Riley's tournament got canceled. All this rain um, is not good for baseball and softball season. Uh, so her tournament got canceled for today, which was supposed to go into tomorrow. So that's also canceled. But I swear her coaches hate me. <laughs> they don't. They love me. They're great. I love them. Um, but they keep scheduling Saturday practices at like early in the morning. I'm like, I am tired. I am a tired mother and I want to sleep in on Saturdays and I cannot because I have to take her to the school by 7:45 in the morning. I'm like, that's barely later than I get there for school. I get there at like 7:20 in the mornings. So, and once again, going to go take a nap in my classroom. <laughs> um she only has to be there for an hour and 15 minutes. So from, well, basically 7.45 till 9.15, so an hour and a half. But her practice practice starts at 8. So anyhow, I don't know why I'm rambling on and on. I just got on here to close this out, but I'm just really tired and I don't want to get up early. I just want to sleep in on a Saturday until I wake up. And that's not an option. So um, same thing happened last Saturday and I took her up there intended to sleep in my classroom and I did not drive my car. I ended up driving her truck. My car is having issues. I don't, well, I've barely talked to you this week, so I know I haven't told you that my car's in the shop. Um, so we took it Tuesday night, um, in the midst of the kids being sick, took my car to the shop. Um, and so I'm driving Scotty's enormous truck right now. <laughs> which is also not fun for me. Um, so where was I even going with that? Last week I drove Riley's truck and I did not have my keys. So I couldn't even get in my building to go in my classroom and take a nap. So I ended up just coming home and having to go back after an hour. So it's a waste of gas to have to do that. So I am making sure I take my keys tomorrow and not going to waste the gas to come back home and go back up there and come back home. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that is enough rambling. Um, all you tired mamas out there, <laughs> hey, I hear you. I feel you. I see you. Um, I'm right there with you. So if you can't hear it in my voice, uh, thankfully I have avoided, knock on wood, um, getting the kids sickness, but I'm tired. I'm a tired mama. So I'm going to finish this vlog, get it edited and uploaded, or it's done editing, except this clip. Um, get it uploaded and go to bed. So thank y'all for coming along with me this week. As short as it was, I feel like it was still a great vlog. Lots of fun to be had around here all the time. So thank y'all for joining us for this one. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. Thank you again. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.